Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the game Tranquility. You can also play this solo, but I'll be explaining the game as it goes with multiple players. This is also cooperative, meaning you are working together to beat the game. Here's how it goes. You are going to play until you have either beaten the game or have lost. The goal is to have a card that says start here at the bottom left and a card that says finish at the top right and have every single space in between filled up by a card with numbers going from low to high. If you manage to do that before you run out of cards, you all win the game. If you don't, you have all lost. So again, try to go from start to finish and all the cards in between go from a low number to a high number. You place the cards from left to right, from bottom to top. And you will be doing all of this without speaking. You are not allowed to talk to each other while you play the game. Next, what do you do when it's your turn? When it's your turn, you should first check if you have five cards in your hand. You start every turn holding five cards. Then you can do one thing and you have two options to choose from. The first thing you can do when it's your turn is discard exactly two cards and take two new cards from your own deck. When you discard cards, you must place them face down on your own discard pile. Keep them apart so you don't get confused over which one is which. So again, when it's your turn, you can discard exactly two cards. No more, no less. And the other thing you can choose to do when it's your turn is place one card from your hand on the table. Here, your journey from start to finish. You can place the card anywhere you like. It doesn't have to be next to another card. But, of course, since you have to go from low numbers to high numbers, you can't place a card that has a lower number than the card before it. For example, in my hand I have a card with the number 3. Here on the table is a card with the number 28. I can't put the th number 3 after 28. It has to go in front of a number that is higher than a 3. And again, you go from bottom left to the top right, like this. There's another rule. I said that you don't have to place a card next to another card. But if you do place your card next to another card that is already there on the table, you must discard at least one other card from your hand. You have to discard as many cards as there is a difference in numbers between the one that you just placed and the one that was already there. This might sound a bit confusing, so I'll show you. On the table there is already this card with the number 5. I have my card with the number 3. When I place my card right next to it, then I have to discard. I put my 3 next to a 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So I have to discard 2 cards from my hand. That's how that works. And if you would have to discard more cards than you have in your hand, you're simply not allowed to play the card there. You can only discard up to four cards. The difference between the numbers has to be no higher than four. One last rule about that, but that's a good one. If you place your card between two cards, you get to choose which one you will use to calculate how many cards you have to discard. 
Let me repeat that. When it's your turn, you can either discard two cards, or you can place one card on the table. If you place it next to another card, you have to calculate how many cards you have to discard. At the end of your turn, you always refill your hand back up to five cards. Two more things, and then we're done. You may only place the card that says finish up here when the card that says start has already been placed. Or when every single other space on the table has been filled up. So you can't place the finish card anytime you want. And the last thing about the card that says start. As soon as one player gets the start card in hand, that player must put that card on the table when it's her or his turn. You must place it as soon as you have it and it's your turn. You can't place another card first. And you can't choose to discard two cards. And then something happens. There's a little break in the game. As soon as someone puts the start card on the table, you have to discard eight cards as a group. So not eight cards per player, that's impossible because you only have five cards in your hand. You have to discard eight cards together. For example, player one discards three cards, player two discards three cards, and player three discards two cards. That's eight in total, and that's it. Also, for this moment in the game, you're allowed to speak to each other again. You can't tell the other players which numbers you have in your hand, but you can discuss how many cards everyone is going to discard. As soon as you have discarded eight cards, the game continues and you can't talk anymore until the game is over. All this happens as soon as someone places the card that says start. And you lose the game when one player has no more cards to take. That's it. This is how you play Tranquility. It's easy to understand, but difficult to win. I hope you feel like you're ready to give it a first try and that you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.